All right. Good evening, everybody. It is um, about 7.30 p.m. New York time, Wednesday, February 1st. Hope everybody had a great day. Just wanted to make uh, another video here. I've gotten some questions, um, just some interactions with people around fundamental and technical analysis. Now, I'm not going to get into a big debate about it because you're going to find people on both sides um, that say... Warning, that's the release of that you know, Australian that data. Are, so trade balance is expected at a surplus of $2 they billion. All Imports and exports, no expectation. In terms of building permits, wrong, month on month, uh, expected at opinion. minus 1.5%. Um, building you know, permits, you're only expected at minus 10.8%. Uh, also be looking out for um, Malaysia and Taiwan. At Nikkei Manufacturing, P1 figures, no expectation for that. You have to know what the fundamentals are. Either the trade balance... First, which is you know, expected and I'm not talking about systems billion, that or the building like approvals, pretty little indicators first, on your chart, you know, blue and month month, red which arrows, is that minus blue arrow tells you to get in, red arrow tells so you to get out. 30 seconds now. Those are a total waste of time. Uh, most uh, uh, EAs and all that, total and robots, total waste of time. Um, but uh, as far as um, fundamental analysis goes. You know, that, that is the underlying driver of the market, okay? And I'm not talking about scalpers either. You know, I'm talking about um, because scalpers just go in. They're basically trading the noise in the market. They're not they're not really trading technicals or fundamentals. They're Approvals trading noise on a small time frame. They grab a few things. That's a expected decline. And that's, that's not a dig on the... Um, Trade balance surplus of 3.5 billion. Uh, that's higher than expected. Uh, it, it, it's upside just a in Aussie dollar so, that data. That's better than expected. I'm not Trade a scalper, balance and so, building approvals. Anyways... Um, you know, again, the fundamentals uh, drive prices, uh, and then the you know the patterns you see help around you a to 19 pip move higher in exits. Aussie dollar fund. That's, and I believe, again, trade balance uh, you printing know, as I mentioned many better times, better than expected uh, surplus or wider than expected my, surplus. Much three point five billion versus expected as you can see, I really two billion. Don't keep anything else on my and chart as for building approvals, CCI that's minus one point two percent. That's better than expected, this, like minus one point five percent. I could live without if I needed to. In terms so, of Australian exports, month for month, 5%, I might that's draw an lower than the prior 8%, trend line or while imports 1%, but I that's higher than the previous of 0%. I don't in terms of indicators uh, on the chart. Um, so, uh, but I believe that uh, those two things can live in peace and harmony together, and I think they have to. Um, because, again, if you're trading just with technicals or just with fundamentals, I think you're only seeing half the picture. So worth noting uh, for and even the best trader, fundamental trade traders December, will use technical analysis. They'll use it for so entries and exits, whether they use Elliott Wave, whether they use Fibonacci, pivot points, moving averages, whatever, classic candlestick patterns to figure out entries and exits. They they still do it. So, so even a, a pure fundamental trader still uses minus technical analysis. And I believe uh, somebody that considers themselves a pure technical trader should also at least have a clue about what the underlying technical uh, fundamentals are, both from a sentiment, which is, you know, kind of the mood of the market, the short term, uh, you know, which might be just one day or a few days, and the, uh, the long term view of the market uh, of a particular currency. Um, you know, what's the central bank position? Are they bullish, bearish? neutral you know i mean you don't have to know everything but just have a basic clue about how that particular currency's short and long-term sentiment is and that will help you determine sometimes um uh to help validate uh patterns uh it helps with entries and exits it helps considering you know whether you should trade into an event a news event or wait until the happens and then trade out of it uh, and all that kind of stuff. So again, I, I do believe they can exist and should exist together. And uh, using one without the other, in my opinion, is uh, driving half blind. So, and again, uh, you know, some people very, feel very passionately about that, um, but I think it's absolutely critical to do both. So I want to give you an example quickly, and then just show you a couple of uh, sources for fundamental uh, news that you can use. If it's something that you're at least interested in following a little bit, and it does take a little practice, um, you know, it's really easy for the marketers to just to sell technical programs and indicators, and and uh, but in, in the end, um, those things really don't work. So uh, long term, so so um, the, here's the Kiwi dollar, and this red line represents uh, the time when the Kiwi employment Central news came out up. yesterday. Manufacturing now, PMI for January um, prints, the Kiwi itself is uh, on a long-term. Malaysia is, manufacturing um, PMI 
48.6 versus 47.1. slightly bullish stance now with bearish for a long time. But the, you know, versus their, their economic and fundamental picture has been improving. So I would say long term, the Kiwi is kind of neutral to slightly bullish. But this is a sentiment move because this news came out and um, they were expecting this to be positive across the board. I believe there were three pieces of information that came out of this release. They were all expected to be positive or at least meet the expectations. And I believe two out of the three of them came out negative. Let me go back and look. This was yesterday. Where are we here? Uh, yeah, right here. So the employment change came out as expected, but the unemployment rate uh, ticked up. And those were the main two things the market concentrated on. Um, especially this un this unemployment rate went up, and uh, they were expecting a drop. I believe there was a third metric that was uh, probably a low profile, so Forex Factory didn't pick it up. But the bottom line is um, it came out negative. And so even though we had a bullish stance, uh, uh, or slightly bullish stance to neutral long term, um, this was a sentiment trade. It came out negative, and we saw this go down. Okay. Uh, from a higher standpoint, you can see the Kiwi has been supported. This has been really the turn in the Kiwi over the last, here's the daily chart. And this goes back to December. Um, if you go back even further on the weekly chart, you can see we, we've been moving up after going down for quite a while. We've been moving up since, really since about May or June of 2015. So again, you know, the Kiwi has been supported. Um this trend going up here had all these waves um, which again from an Elliott standpoint no need to really count the waves so when the news came out um, from an Elliott standpoint it, it's kind of suggested that maybe this would at least take a pause which it did but again this was more of a of a little bit of a technical but also a sentiment trade uh, technically uh, from an Elliott wave standpoint it was ready for a correction from a, sent, from a sentiment standpoint, the news was negative and it went down. Okay, so that was last night. So then you fast forward into early this morning in the London session. We're going to go over to the pound kiwi. Now the pound has been up pretty much all week. Now the pound longer term, this still has a lot of question because from a, tech, from a, from a fundamental standpoint, there's still a lot of uncertainty around Brexit, okay, and what's going to happen if how and when Brexit will be implemented. Um, if you've been following that at all, you'll know there's been a lot of um, there's been a lot of uh, back and forth in the courts uh, in Europe on this. But uh, the pound has been supported the last few days. The sentiment has been pretty strong this week. We had oops, we had some. Uh, so then early this morning uh, during the London session, we had manufacturing um, uh, PMI come out on the pound as expected. And we had some other positive pound news earlier in the week and we've just had some just some overall underpinnings for the pound being positive um, and so it's it's kind of a so this is more of a, uh, a a sentiment play so what happened was so now you've got a negative kiwi coming off the night session and a positive pound okay as indicated by this up move so you combine that and say well let's go trade the pound kiwi and so this represents the London Open right here, this candle. It's when the London opened. And you can see the, the Pound Kiwi rallied uh, 100 and almost 200 pips on the day. Okay, And that's, a, that's about what it does. This is a pretty pip-rich um, pair. And it went up almost 200 pips on the day. So, so there's you know something combining both sentiment and... Um, and um, you know sentiment fundamentals and technical um, so this was a good pullback here overnight you know this pullback so you know buyers uh, got in you know on this pullback and, and sent it up you could also say that this was a five wave Elliott pattern here too if you if I wanted to say you know where's the technical part of this trade you know I could probably say something like this but again you know th this move up was driven by you know, sentiment uh, on both positive pound news and on negative Kiwi news. Okay, so again, you just, you can't dismiss, you just can't dismiss, you know, one without the other. Okay, and again, I use both. I think that's, in my opinion, is the best way. Um, 
to do it you know a pure technical trader is going to miss out on you know and operate blind not knowing what the what the underlying fundamentals are because you know those fundamentals the you know the long-term stance from the bank on their interest rate and their forecast as well as economic prints that come out on things like um, the Forex factory calendar all this stuff those things are what um, ultimately drives anything beyond you know like I said scalping but the patterns just help you with you know getting a good price to buy into you know no matter whether you use Elliott wave or whether you just use whatever you call it a retracement a pullback Fibonacci pivot points whatever method you use to enter and exit to get a good fill that's that's fine in my case it's usually Elliott wave and Fibonacci is what I use um, I might use the CCI a little bit, but it's mostly this, okay? And I don't count waves, like I said. I'm just looking for patterns. So, uh, and having a nice clean chart allows me to see that. Okay? So, I just wanted to, you know, again, um, can have an argument about that, but I think both are critically important, and you don't need to be an expert. And so now I'm going to just show you briefly some websites here. So, there's a few things here. So, uh, most of these are free. And so I would highly recommend if you want to at least follow along to do that. Um, <clears throat> so this is financialjuice.com. This is a free site. You have to register to get the news feed, which I did. Uh, but once you do that, you'll see this news feed come up. And you can go into your profile. You go into news settings. And you um, basically select the type of stuff you want to see in your news feed. Now, as you can see, I'm concentrating mostly on Forex. I have some other stuff checked off, but, you know, the more you put in here, the more you're going to, um, the more you're going to, um, have stuff show up in your news feed you may not care about. Okay, so, as you can see, and what this site is, it's an aggregator. They basically collect stories from other sites and aggregate it here. And some of these other sites I follow also individually, so it's great. But I, uh, um, but, you know, this is FX Street. This is Forex Live. I can just tell by the icons. Um, this is Live Squawk, and there's a whole bunch of them. You'll see. Um, you see, it's you know, it's a lot of those because you know I follow mostly. This is Reuters. Um, Bloomberg will be on here once in a while. Daily FX is another one. Um, and so this is an aggregator site, and it's free. They do have a Squawk, um, but the Squawk is a little delayed, so I don't really use their Squawk. Uh, a Squawk is basically when there's a news headline. That comes out you'll hear it they'll announce it first so that it just you know that gets out to the market right away for people that are you know trading news um you know that they can they have that voice squawk um, but this one i think has a little delay to it so it's um it's not one that, that i use i'll show you another one that i do use um so yeah so this is financial juice and uh, when they have something breaking, they'll, you'll hear, if you have your speaker on, you'll get a little siren noise. Sounds like an ambulance siren. And then across the top here, they'll have a big red banner with the news release. If it's an economic release, a big one, it'll post up here for a few minutes. And then they'll drop it into this feed, and it'll be highlighted red for, you know. And this is a feed, so these all just keep dropping down as new ones are posted. And you can scroll down and see the older stuff if you want. And uh, you, know, you can go back and, and find some older stuff. So, so that's financial juice. Then, you know, one of these is FX Street. I actually keep FX Street open individually. The reason why is with something like FX Street and Forex Live, um, it, they're all on here, but sometimes, you know, if you're not paying attention and the stuff's constantly reloading, you might miss something. So sometimes I'll just keep it individually up here. Um, uh, where's Forex Live? So this Forex Live I really like. This is Forex Live. This is a blog site. Again, it's all it's all Forex. It's all free. Um, they do other stuff on here. Economic calendar. I don't use any of that. Technical analysis. I don't use any of that. Um, but this is a um, a blog site. There's these uh, analysts and writers on here, and a lot of this is fundamental. But you know, some of them do technical analysis, which I don't really look at too much. But you know, so here's Australian trade balance. It just came out, so this guy is posting on it. You click more, and then, you know, he's got an article and um, more to come. So it just so came out, so he'll develop in Taiwan the story Singapore. The pre -market stock and get more of the inside the information. And again, you also can scroll down the Taiwan and see all this, from a week -long all this stuff Lunar you can New Year read and open it up. Some of it now links out to other Taiwan, sites, but most of it's China right here. Still Corp. 
Um, Their company's again, all, 2016 profit you know, surged 130 percent so to 21.9 billion, right billion, right billion Taiwanese dollars versus the previous of 9.51 billion Taiwan dollars in 2015. Um, Bloomberg's another one. I don't use this now a lot. Some notable but, news uh, stories the, reported the during the holiday com, closures. Go to the currency section. Media tech and net profit for Q4 2016 fell 34.4 percent um, quarter on quarter, but rose 22.9 percent year on year now, the, to 5.14 billion Taiwan dollars. Uh, they, they tend to post throughout the day. For Taiwan Mobile Corp, the company forecasts a 6 percent annual decline uh, in net income well. for this year to 14.38 billion Taiwan dollars. Um, so that's Bloomberg, and then the other now one as far as a squawk. This is FX Pro. Company spokesperson state. That uh, broker a media in report England, company chairman was use, injured following a slip uh, at a residence in Hawaii. Account so that I can have access and this to is this most walk. likely a rumor. So once you create an account, um, now, this will be your homepage. In terms of Apple and suppliers. You tools, and then you go to, you scroll down here to FX Pro Squawk, and it'll open this up. And this is like real time Apple's breaking Q1 news. And you can EPS see there's, there's was $3.36 dollars versus an expected $3.22 both. They're both on right now. I have my speaker muted. And for so Taiwan news data, talking right now, I'm not Taiwan GDP it. growth rate. And just you know, throughout the day, as things come out, you know, major important year things year are was at two point six percent versus an expected um, two point nine percent. You'll hear them come on the squawk and uh, and squawk out things, especially during major releases. That data was released last week. And if you scroll week. down, you'll actually see the news feed. Now, anything that they Singapore, say on the squawk the will end up here in this time feed. The company's um, property unit and you developed. Can, uh, you can read the headlines. Delivered a strong net profit of 620 million Singapore dollars to provide some mild relief for the company, which has been hit by impairments. So for a full rundown on the stock stories, please visit the Rentscore website. But I use this mostly for the squawk, and I scroll through the headlines. And a lot of this stuff will end up on sites like Financial Juice and Forex Live and all that, too. So this is FX Pro. Again, this is a UK-based uh, broker. I don't use their broker services, but I do use the Squawk, and it's great. I mean, it's. I hope they don't take it away because it's a free tool uh, for a, um, um, you know, uh, for their account holders, and you can just have a demo account and still use it. Okay, so that's FX Pro. So I highly recommend that um, if you want to at least keep that on in the background and listen for any major stuff that comes out during the day you know a lot of this is going to be for people that you know day trade and scalp and but i use it again mostly you know when news comes out um that's predicted news then i will um you know you'll hear it on here and and you'll see it show up and it just gives you a backstory you can actually go back so if you go back to here this is uh you know basically when the u.s session ended They'll have this little summary here, you know, news stories from over the EU and U.S. sessions. It'll have some quick bullet points about what happened during those sessions. When I get up in the morning, I'll see kind of, you know, an update on the on the European session. And, um, you know, it, it's all good. So, so those are just a few of the tools that you can use. The last one that I have here is a paid service. This is Jarrett Davis. Jarrett is a uh, U.K.-based fundamental trader. And again, he uses, you know, fundamentals 90% and technicals about 10%, maybe. Um, this guy, he's a huge believer. And he offers this course. I actually am a, a member and a student. But um, so you, this is a paid site, so you can't get all this stuff unless you pay. But I just wanted to show it to you. And a lot of what I use on here is they publish these daily forecasts for both the uh, London and the British. The London and the New York session talks about sentiment update, which is the short-term feeling upcoming events and what might happen you know strongest and weakest currency for the day you know levels and then it has this long-term outlook for each currency they update this when necessary most of the time this doesn't really change um, you go into their central bank section and it'll have here's the Australian dollar and it basically gives you all the fundamental bias you know neutral current sentiment neutral a little summary South Korea's you know, listed stuff like this Corp. is good to know report and, and a Q4 net net this profit of 214 billion Korean won versus a previous 35.3 billion but, um, Korean won year on year this is this and is really operating a great place for um, 444 for news and, uh, billion Korean trainings, won but, um, a loss again, of 42.9 billion Korean won year on year on here and everything too which I've gone through several times so uh, so I'm not really talk too much about that because, you know, um, you can get a lot of what you need here uh, for free. Um, so those are the main sites. I mean, there's also places like uh, 
centralbanknews.info. This is a free site. It's a really boring site, I think. I mean, just the colors is drab. It's always been like this, but, you know, it'll show you all the countries and their, their major banks inflation targets, you know, any central bank news coming out this week. Um, a lot of these are going to be banks you don't care about, like the Dominican Republic, really. You know, Angola. You know, IMF. I don't care about Sawa any of that. So states that U.S. Honestly, I don't go to this too much. To uncertainty. But it's a good information site. Central and bank information. Is, is a risk these to banks. Asia. Um, you know who the who the players also are and all that. So it's Asia good to know, but I don't. You know, I don't use this a lot. Maybe once a week, I'll check in here on the news feed, so just to see what's coming up. So. Uh, but I've got all these, and then these are all the banks, the central banks, home site, Bank of England, Bank of Canada, ECB, Swiss National Bank, you know, et cetera, et cetera, Bank of Japan, the Fed, New Zealand, Europe, cuts assessment of China so equities to neutral from yeah, overweight much, and raises Korea to overweight. Them, so, but really, these ones I've got up here are, are the main ones that I use, okay, that are across the top here right now um, with FX Pro. Uh, Financial Juice, Jarrett Davis, Forex Live being my, my main go-to ones. So, all right. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps, guys. Um, you know, if you have any questions, like I said, as always, let me know. But I do think it's important that we do both, that you keep an, keep an eye on both. It, it really is critical. And, um, you know, I, I just think that uh, having at least some basic knowledge of the fundamentals is going to, in the long run, help you. And support you and, and give you more confirmation on uh, and confidence on your positions and you know when you see the whole picture so anyways guys hope that helps y'all have a great night and I will talk to you soon